Welcome to the channel everyone. I wanted to do an update on our pond. Now if you've been watching the last couple of years on our channel, a few years ago we were using a homemade drag to drag to the bottom and pull weeds out. And I think we did that for two or three years in a row. I'm not getting any younger and that drag isn't getting any lighter. So it was a lot of work. So I switched to chemicals a few years ago. And I think it was two years ago the first time I bought hydrothal granule and I put that out there and I didn't have much luck with it. So last spring I called a manufacturer of hydrothal and I got a bunch of information. I was told how to use it. And what I learned with that product, you buy the required amount for your pond, you'll take half the amount of chemicals you need and you'll apply that first to just half of the pond. Then you wait about two weeks and you take the remaining chemicals and then you treat the other half of the pond. And what that does, it gives it a slower kill so it doesn't deplete the oxygen and so you don't have a fish kill. So I put it down, I think, oh, probably middle May and it looked pretty good all through the beginning of June. And then uh, all of a sudden weeds started coming up and they kind of took over. So I called the guy at Hydrothal back and talked to him and told him about the weed problem. So he told me, he said, pull some weeds out, take some pictures and send them in. So I sent some pictures to him and he called me back a little while later and he said, well, that's bladderwort. Hydrothal doesn't kill bladderwort. So, okay, so over the winter I did some more research. I googled how do you kill bladderwort and I'll show you what I come up with. This is what I ended up buying, Wipeout by Air Max. And they say this stuff works all season, so you only need to apply it one time. It says to apply it the first sighting of, of any weeds. So that was about early May I started seeing a couple weeds coming up through the bottom. So what you do, you dump the chemical, it's a liquid, you dump it in a five gallon bucket that you filled up with pond water and you just walk around the edges and just pour it in and distribute it, you know, as best you can that way. So that seemed to be doing pretty good. The pond was pretty clear. Now they tell you you have to use a pond dye or they recommend using a pond dye with it. The UV rays from the sun will break down the chemicals. So I put dye in there at the same time and the pond was looking real good. But then I noticed that the weeds started growing up about three weeks later, but they didn't really come up to the surface. They were stunted. So I decided to call the company just to talk to them and see if I did everything correctly. I was still seeing a few weeds. Now one thing, when these chemicals, they don't really say they kill weeds, they say they control weeds. So I wanted to find out what does that mean, it controls weeds. So what I found out, the chemical is doing exactly what it's supposed to do. When the weeds started growing, the growth outpaced the chemical that's in there. So it was a slower kill and it doesn't really just kill them in a short amount of time and then they all rot and die. When they lay at the bottom, that's when they start depleting the oxygen. What this chemical does, it starves the plant out by cutting down, the, and I believe it was chlorophyll is what they told me, and that starves them of the chlorophyll, so slowly they start to die from the roots. There's very little weeds that have made the surface, a couple little spots around the edges. Most of the weeds, once they started getting to certain size, they started turning brown from the bottom, and there'll be a little green on the tops, but they, they all stayed low in the water and they're kind of receding. So I'm gonna give you a close up look, see if we can see these. So there's just a few stragglers out there. There's a little patch there. It's just kinda, they're floating up on top and they're turning brown. There's a few out here. Most of them are pretty close to the shore where the water isn't all that deep. But for the most part, that whole pond is nice and clear. It's a lot cleaner than it ever used to be. So the weeds are under control. Being this is the end of July, the growing season is about another month. And then by towards the end of August, they're gonna start dying out. On this side of the pond, there's all this algae that wants to float around. And you can see it's turning brown and it's starting to sink. So actually the pond is looking pretty good. It's a lot clearer than it's ever been. And the dye just makes it look nice. Our fish population is doing real good. Probably don't show up on camera, but everywhere I look, there's bass. We had this stocked, I think three years ago, bass and bluegill. We've got bass in here. We've pulled some out right around two and a half, three pounds. But there are, I mean, you literally see hundreds of them in the five and six inch range. So I was told by the maker of the wipeout that this stuff lasts about 90 days. So it is pretty much all season protection. 
Uh, most of the growing season in the summer, you're going to be protected. They recommend adding dye a couple times during the year. So I reapplied it about two weeks ago, and it just looks good. If what little weeds are out there, you don't really see them anymore. The dye reduces the amount of sunlight coming in, and that also causes the weeds to die out a little bit, and they're just not as active. It's like trying to get grass to grow underneath a tree where it's 100% shade. So it does work pretty good. I'm satisfied with it, and I think that's the product I'm going to stick with from now on. Uh, it was easy to apply one time. You're not messing around with it, and uh, you know the dye was no big deal to put in either. I think that'll do it on this video. I just wanted to put an update on the pond out there. So thanks for watching.